Good eye fish tankers. Air stones that send tiny little air bubbles and columns up our aquariums and air curtains, air driven ornaments like this little car that releases air bubbles through its bonnet, as well as the air pumps that buzz away driving all these gadgets in our aquariums. Are they really necessary? Well, the short answer is no. However, there are a couple of buts. Stick around and find out what they are. Oh, well, here we see an air stone bubbling away in the aquarium, splitting up the airflow and producing that column of small bubbles. It's, of course, air that's being pumped into the aquarium, not oxygen. The air pump pumps in air from the atmosphere, so it's not like a CO2 cylinder that just pumps in CO2. But what it actually does it is it causes a circulation. As the bubbles rise, they take water with them from the lower strata of the aquarium that's oxygen poor, to the upper part of the aquarium where it's more oxygen and air rich uh, because the oxygen exchange or air exchange takes place at the surface of the aquarium so as the bubbles rise up so does the water along with it all the way to the surface so there you can see the bubbles rising up and that causes that convection circulation going on And as you can see, as it pops at the surface, it doesn't absorb, it goes off into the atmosphere, but it does break the air surface tension, like the bubbles here does. It agitates the water surface, and that's what causes the oxygen exchange. So, technically, the air stone is not necessary. You can have a lot of aquarium plants like I have here, and as long as there's enough light through photosynthesis, they will produce oxygen which should be all right if your aquarium is lightly stocked, sort of like a wall stand method, but like this aquarium here and most of the tanks out there, we have quite a lot more fish than that. So the plants alone are not going to give you that peace of mind that everything is going to be okay. Most of us need a little extra. So instead of an air stone, you can use your power filters to have the same effect. They need to do two things. Pull, pull the water from the lower layers of the aquarium like this hang on back filter will have its intake set there down below of that periscope type of inlet and secondly it needs to agitate the water surface so the outlet of your power filters needs to be above the surface or close to the surface or level with the surface so that it causes this rippling effect so that it agitates the surface like this hang on back filter is doing and that causes the air water exchange to happen so that we can have some oxygen and air in the water in our tanks now you can see it also here with this power filter the spray bar is sort of set so that it sprays across the surface and it agitates the surface once again causing that air interchange to happen so it pulls the water from the bottom of the tank through the sponges out through the spray bar and because the spray bar is just under the surface pointing upwards, it agitates the water. Same with this power filter here. The inlet is just level with the water. It can be slightly below, slightly above, but it causes that agitation of the surface, which takes the surface tension away. If you would use wave makers or put your inlets underneath the water, it will circulate the water, but it won't break that surface tension and that can cause the water to become oxygen poor, especially if there's no plants and there's lots of big fish like cichlids in there and it can easy, even cause some fish to suffocate because of a lack of oxygen. So important that your power filter outlets break the surface of the water. Now I'm not fond of air pumps and bubbles, they can be noisy, they never last as long as the water pumps in your power filters. So why then, as you can see the bubble popping here, do I have air pumps operating in my aquariums along with my power filters? You can see here from the side coming in, there's more and more bubbles popping and there at the side is an air driven filter with an air stone bubbling. Well, the reason for that is because we have load shedding here in South Africa, which is basically daily power cuts as long as four hours or more. And I've got this battery, lithium battery inverter that operates my aquariums upstairs in the house. 
so that operates the lights and the power filter so i don't have needs for air pumps anymore upstairs but downstairs i do and an ac dc air pump is the most cost effective load shedding solution you must have one that continuously work with the power switches on and off so that you don't have to switch it on and off but these pumps do that the battery charges when the power comes on and when the power goes off it just keeps operating on the battery but don't only connect it to an air stone connect it to an air operated filter like this sponge filter so then you when the power goes out and the power filters that filters no longer work you still have circulation and aeration as well as biological filtration this way it didn't lose any fish it can be any air, or air operated filter like this under gravel filter even an old school box filter this is the cheapest version just over 300 bucks and this is big brother it's a twin outlet this is in the 400 bucks or so i'll leave the links below none of the products are sponsored here's the big boy the sobo air box and this is also the quietest air pump that i've ever found and this can operate several aquariums at once and over here in the cabinet underneath my big tank that's the biggest air box it's the most powerful one but it's a little bit noisy so i keep it in the cabinet so it deafens any noise it has which isn't a lot i'm just noise sensitive so that's a cheap and easy solution to low load shedding having ac dc air pumps drive air operated filters so the short answer is if you have a reliable supply of electricity if you're hooked up to inverters and your home is on solar off a grid you don't need those air pumps i would i wouldn't bother with them then the power filters are much noisy unless you have a big fish room and you want to operate a lot of aquariums then a big air pump becomes more economical with air driven filters well that's it guys that's the lowdown on air pumps and air stones no you don't need them but they're handy for load shedding and ec economy reasons if you enjoyed the content stick around for a bonus tip but please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and what do we do here's a bonus tip for the heat when the power goes off i just use a gas heater and heat the room like we do here lulu seems to enjoy it don't you lulu well that's it guys keep on taking good care of those domestic denizens of the deep